What's your thoughts on Cam? I know you got to meet him, but the kid that just died. Oh. Answer. What's your thoughts on him and uh, what he meant to you to, to meet him in the short time you got to see him and picture with him? Man, that, that little kid, man, he's a, he, he was a, such a, you know, inspiration to me. You know, like, you know, I always, you know, a lot of times, you know, I always tell my teammates, you know, I don't feel sorry for anybody because I'm like, man, you know, coming back from like a major knee injury. I'm like, you know, it's plenty of days I feel bad, but, you know, just just seeing him and, you know, spending time with him, you know, I went to go, see, what me and Jay went to go see him Monday. And, you know, it just shows, you know, your situation could always be worse. So, you know, every day, you know, I just, I just think about that. You know, I got this picture sent, sent um, sitting on my counter at home, and, and I just know, like, I mean, man, such such a strong kid, man, such a strong kid. So he he's he's taught me a lot about life. Sean, as far as uh, football is concerned, I know you guys have turned the page to A and M at this point, but 125 points last two SEC games, can you at least appreciate that that's unusual? Yeah, I mean, it is kind of crazy. I mean, you wouldn't think about it, you know, especially playing against SEC opponents, but, you know, all the credit goes, you know, to, you know, the offense and the defense, you know, guys just, you know, coming in, you know, Monday through Thursday, you know, working hard at practice and, you know, it's carrying over to the game on Saturday. So, you know, it just shows, you know, like Coach Saban said, you know, when you come out and practice hard, and things like that can happen on Saturday, so you know we just got to keep it up. On the other side of that, the defense only came on three points in those SEC games. What was it that clicked after the Colorado State game? I don't know if you had players only meeting or something. Like what happened there? You guys on? Well, I think it's more of just you know everybody just starting to execute their job, and you know definitely helps you know with guys you know recovering from injuries. So I mean, just everybody being on the same page, and you know everybody realizing you know that you just can't chill Monday to Thursday and try to turn it on on Saturday. You know, it's got to be a full week process. How much more responsibility now since Deshaun is going to be out for a couple of weeks? Oh, well, I mean, you know, it's, I mean, we're going to miss him, but I mean, like I said, you know, when guys were, were hurt, you know, early on, you know, we got some young guys who got to get some good experience. So, I mean, you know, next man up. In the last two games, the defense has allowed opponents to convert on third down, I think one in 23 times, just, you know, how much pride as a defense do y'all take in that stat? Is that something y'all are even aware of happening? Oh, yeah, I mean, you're definitely aware of it. You know, I always tell guys, you know, we got to feel on third down, you know, that saves us a lot of energy because, I mean, teams convert on third now, you know, they can score a touchdown, they could, the, the drive's a lot longer. So, you know, I always tell them, you know, if you ain't trying to be tired, let's get out the field on third down. Do you think if, if, I, uh, if I remember the stat, uh, Alabama's 3 0 all time in College Station. What does it take to win in an environment like that? Um, well, I mean, you know, we definitely have to have a, a good week of practice and everybody's going to have to do their job. You know, we, it's going to be important, you know, that we not get there and get so caught up in, like, the crowd and things like that because, I mean, the, the atmosphere is, is unbelievable. So we're going to have to just, you know, stay calm and, you know, everybody do their job. How do you guys stay focused when you're putting up the kind of numbers that you're putting up and you're absolutely dominating opponents for 60 minutes? Does that make it harder to keep focused on, on the next play and when you're having so much success like this? I mean, not really. You just got to know what you want. I mean, that's like, you know, last week, I mean, you know, that's that game. And, you know, we can't come into this week, you know, with the hungover from Saturday. So, you know, every week, you know, you can get beat. So, you know, week in, week out, you know, you got to have a good week of preparation. Thank you.